Massive cleanup efforts are underway from Hurricane Matthew. Take a look at South Carolina. Properties buried beneath feet of sand. And look at these before and after photos. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, showing the devastation there. ABC's Philip Minna is on the ground in Lumberton for us. Good morning, Philip. Robin, good morning. We are in the hardest hit neighborhood in the hardest hit town in North Carolina. At least 20 dead and take a look. Rescue crews are using these green tags, making sure that everybody has gotten out just in time. This morning, the governor of North Carolina urging thousands more to evacuate, telling residents the sky may be blue, but the danger from Hurricane Matthew far from over. Everything is underwater. Up to 18 inches of rain fell in the eastern part of the state. That rain, plus runoff from the rivers, now rushing towards the coast. Try to get out as soon as we could. You know, it's a disaster. Just think about the people that lost their lives. Stretches of I-95 and I-40 remain closed to traffic. I was scared, I was petrified, I was thinking of my kids. David Feldman was driving with his wife Barbara from Florida to New York when they detoured through Lumberton. They end up in the middle of this lake. I couldn't believe it. He escaped, but his wife of 30 years, one of the many still missing in these murky waters. The estimated cost of the damage from the catastrophic flooding, $10 billion. This is farmland down here. This is absolutely devastating for and the flooding across the state continues. Many rivers expected to crest this weekend. Crews working to shore up dams. This water is deadly. Entire neighborhoods underwater. Some homes only reachable by boat. Many left with nothing. We lost everything. No clothes, no food, no nothing. Nearly 4,000 people in shelters this morning, others homeless or even living in their vehicles. George? Such a tough situation. Okay, Philip, thanks.